Hey, this is Matt Reisinger with Reisinger Homes. Welcome to my video blog dedicated to building science and fine craftsmanship. Coming to you today from Building Science Summer Camp. This is the Westford Symposium on Building Science. I think this is the 18th year that it's been in existence. Test, test. I'm here with Allison Bales from Energy Vanguard. Hello, hello, hello. Ah! Joe Stebrick, a hero. Thank you for uh, having us. You're too kind. One of my original mentors and building science teachers, uh, Mark Liberté, is here. Some of the greats in building science are here, including quite a few of my heroes. And with me now is one of my favorite uh, building science uh, gurus and a massive blogger. I'm here with Allison Bales from Energy Vanguard. Allison, how are yeah, you? Great. I'm doing great. It's summer camp. Always, Best week of the year. Always a good time. There's some amazing experts here. Although it's weird for me personally to not have you on stage stage the whole time when I'm at a seminar like this with smart people. It's nice to not have to be on stage. There's brilliance out there and uh, the researchers, the engineers, the universities, uh, we all need this to continually uh, stretch the boundaries, make sure we're checking back against the things that we know. Yeah, that's for sure. Why are you interviewing me? You already got this shit figured out. What the hell is that about? <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. I got a few more symposiums to go before I've got it all figured out. What do you think for young builders is one building science topic that they really need to learn first or get into first. Okay, and you're asking for young builders because the old builders already know everything, right? <laughs> okay. So, uh, young builders or old builders, anybody, I would say, <clears throat> excuse me, I would say um, control. Control layers, understanding, mm. controlling air, controlling moisture, controlling heat, and the different materials, understanding the uh, properties of materials and applications and climate zones. I think one of the things we have to really concentrate on are things like the thermodynamic basics that we have to make sure we appreciate and also the climate interfaces with how that operates and that knowing that those variability in, in climates but we also know that thermal conditions are uh, critical anywhere and pe people think that I'm in Texas I'm in Minnesota I'm in Florida that those rules don't apply mm. there's three things that can cause a building to fail faster than anything else um, moisture water and rain <laughs> It's amazing what similarities there are between those three things. I think it's also an issue of, uh, of um, literacy and language barriers. And I think that that's one place we're really finding some mistakes, is that we don't appreciate the fact that if we're not con conveying it correctly, demonstrating whether it's with mock-ups, animations, or something else, mm -hmm. in a language barrier environment, we are at risk. What a weatherproofer, what a window installer, what a siding contractor, what key details matter. And sometimes the science is simple enough, it's the execution of that science in the Boy, field. That's for sure. And I think that's what really causes us more trouble than anything else. Yeah, a little uh, little plug for Mark and his team too. Mark is part of uh, Construction Instruction. Uh, several other great building science teachers uh, with along with Mark. And uh, specifically talking about that install, uh, Mark and his company have developed an iPhone, iPad app uh, that you can download for free. Hey, can I ask you a specific question about Austin, Texas, or my hot, humid climate? Austin, is, is, isn't that 100 square miles surrounded by reality, Austin? <laughs> like that, yes. What's the deal about perms? Does it really make a difference whether I use a 10 perm or a 100 perm WRB on the outside of my house, or even a zero perm for that matter? Uh, actually, it's kind of Goldilocks, not to vapor open, not to vapor close, just right. The sweet spot is somewhere between five and 20 perms. 100 perms is a waste of money, and one is too low. Five to 10 is where you probably want to be. Yeah. The one thing that I think is the most important is getting the airflow right. Ducted systems are great, mm -hmm. but the, uh, the, the problem is they, the airflow is always wrong. I would rather have a minimum efficiency system, like a 13 sear air conditioner mm -hmm. with a really, really good duct system than an 18 sear or 30 sear system with a piece of crap duct system. Wow, that's interesting. Yeah. What are some emerging technology or emerging trends in building science you see that are really gonna affect the whole nation? I just think that um, we're gonna to find a big simplification happening in assemblies. Hmm. Right now there are too many products ta chasing too few ne necessary characteristics. So I think you're going to have an insulation, you're going to have a control layer, and we're going to be done. Well, it's amazing. Uh, a couple of hundred years ago we had like two or three building materials and we built everything out of two or three things. Then in the last 30 years we've got like a gazillion things in an assembly and I think we're going to end up getting up going back to two or three things again. But I would see him seeing some advancements in HVAC. And I think the idea of having us uh, 
uh, variability in blower speeds, in cooling capacities, dehumidification capacities. I think those are the things that are going to make a difference in terms of our appreciation for comfort. So the technologies in windows, the technology and in insulation is all there. We have mm -hmm. to apply it. Stop using bats that are smashed in cavities. That's got to stop tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, and the poor papers that we're seeing installed, that should be immediate changes until we really see a next advancement. And that'll be wall enclosures that systematically operate as, as unique instead of having eight players in the game of getting to the enclosure. How about this? Would you rather have a really well designed house uh, in terms of an HVAC system, a really well installed one, or a one that's really commissioned at the end? Um, all three. <laughs> all three. The app is Construction Instruction. If anybody wants to download that, again, it's free, and you can find it at the app or Android stores. Joe, thank you for having us. Oh, you're too kind. Thank really you. appreciate it, my friend. Thank you. All right, everybody. We'll see you later. Thank you, Joe. That was awesome.